Here is the Ninja. The Ninja, the, the Ninja. <clears throat> 2005 Ninja. Just have a little, had a little bit of a problem with the gas tank having crap in it. I've got pictures posted about that. Uh, I rinsed it out with vinegar. And then I rinsed it out with water. And then I put some gas in there. And it's a WD-40 to just drive out any moisture that's left. So I should be good to go. Now, I have a problem with this bike. The revving. Still is a problem. Even after the carb cleaning. And yes, I did get into every little hole in, t in the jets. You know, I put a uh, little bit of the copper wire and just ran it through all the jets. Blew it out with an air compressor. Carb cleaner. Blew it out with an air compressor again. Then did it again with the, uh, the wire. And then I blew it out again and carb cleaned. And then blew it out again. I was very thorough. I just... I Because I took it out once. I don't want to do it again. So... Now, here's the thing. She starts right up, so that's so that's a good sign. I'm gonna flip her on. He's already in the on position. Boom! Not a problem. She sounds nice. She idles beautiful. Like she idles just like she used to, which I I love. Only problem with her right now is that this. I'm gonna open her up wide open. Watch the tachometer. Back to idle. Again, I'm going to open her wide up, get it to about 11 grand, maybe 12, and then I'm going to take my hand completely off the throttle. Let me get a wide angle so you can see my hand. Back to idle. Very slow to rev up. If you notice that going from idle is supposed to just immediately shoot up, I'm, again, wide open. That's not normal. And she's hanging. Also, when I went to rev her, she's a lot louder than she used to be. Like, normally it's, the noise is a lot more centrifuges around the engine. I hear a lot of noise coming out of the exhaust pipe. So, mufflers are not, either not doing their job or something. Um, she idles beautifully. The sound and everything's beautiful. Um, just that one problem. Also, letting it do that. At around six grand, I hear a pop coming. I hear a pop coming out of one of the exhaust pipes. So it sounds like it's back, not really backfiring, but like might be running too rich because it smells a little bit like gasoline. Um, also, when I started her up just a while back, I had a little bit of bluish smoke coming out of this exhaust pipe on the left side. Very hard to see. Um, that's not normal. Also, if you notice that I've got her on right now, everything's good. She, knows she started up good. You guys saw that. I'm going to apply choke just because I can. dead. It is basically a second kill switch right now. So, that being said, I don't know what's wrong with the bike. I did mangle one of the clips in the float valve, one of the float valve clips, pulling it out because the float the float was stuck. Float valve was stuck, so I pulled that out and uh, with, with the floats and the little clip went and it like kind of, like normally it has a, like a layer like that, the two clips. I kind of have one going like this, so I put them, pushed them back down like that. So, and then I took a brush and I brushed out the inside of that little float valve, and then I blew, blew air compressed, compressed air from the, uh, the uh, gasoline line inwards to the carbs out to blow the crap that I knocked loose outwards. So it should seat a little bit better. Um, also, I have no idea where this hose goes hose goes um yeah it's a really long hose and i say really long longest hose i've ever seen on this bike i've got it underneath the uh air box or going through the air box hitting this 
And, uh, yeah, I don't know where it goes. So, yeah, that's the problem. And, by the way, it's not my throttle, because if you listen really closely, you can hear it snap. If you watch the throttle, it's not the throttle, because she's snappy. So I just lube the cables. And the choke is also good. Not choke, but clutch. So yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to take the carbs out again and get another, I've got another clip on order from this dealership and uh, see what happens there. Thanks. Bye.